hi guys welcome back to another video on today's video i'll be showing you how i did this beautiful setup all the colors i used and how to recreate these beautiful centerpieces so on the next clip that you're going to be seeing i am recreating it but with a different color scheme because i did this uh setup twice in like a spam of two weeks so that's why i'm not showing you with this other party i did because it time you know, I was running out of time, so I decided to do it the next party I was going to do, just so I could take my time and really show you how to recreate it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned some tips and tricks. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'll be showing you how I made the beautiful setup you saw at the beginning. To start off, I'm going to start making this cute little teddy bear centerpieces for the baby shower so this is the colors that the customer chose and that's what we're working with so i will be doing this on the video as you're going to see next it's just a quad of four balloons of eight inches uh no seven inches on the bottom and then around 10 inches on the top so that's what i'm doing and it's six balloons over here four balloons over here the teddy bear a floral arrangement and i also made a little quad on the back so that's what we're doing and this is how i'm doing it so i'm just gonna move it fast forward but you know pretty simple i just tied it with the balloon necks and then um the flowers i just uh put glue dots on the little bouquet and glued those to the uh balloons and then i used the fishing line to tie the balloon the bear so yeah guys, that's what we're gonna be doing. I think I did this on another video not too long ago, but it's a popular um, centerpiece for baby showers. So here I am doing it again. So I will show you that next. And then I will also tell you next what color balloons I'm using. Let me tell you that now. I have them right here. So you know, I'm a big fan of Decomex because that's kind of what I always use. I just love that the quality, they don't pop on the sun. And I've tried different ones and, you know, I always go towards that one because it's, you know, um, good quality, not too expensive. You make a good profit. So I have white Decomex, pastel, no, uh, yeah, pastel royal blue in Decomex, and then pastel light blue in Decomex with gold. So that's the colors that I'll be using for this party. So that's all I'm using. 12 inches, 5 inches, 18 inches, and I believe 36 inches is what I will be using in this balloon. But you'll see me blowing up the garlands as the video continues. So, yep, yeah, let's get to it. And here are the colors I used for the other party. So, you can screenshot this. And here I am just blowing up some quads to 7 inches in each color I am going to be using, and which was four colors. So, I did four balloons. And then I just did that for the bases. So, I blew up a bunch. I think I needed like 10. So that's what I will be doing in this portion of the video. And I fast forward so you can see me doing all of them at once. Okay, and then after I am done blowing up the vases, I go ahead and grab one and then tie it to the pole. So I just tie it with its own neck and I do this to every single piece. And then after this, I move on to the top, which we grab our balloons and start blowing them to eight inches so we blow up the balloons to eight inches and then I do two smaller ones to seven inches just to give it a little more dimension so I do four at eight inches and then two a six um seven inches so that's what you're going to see me doing on this part of the video and it's just to give it a little more dimension and then I do the same thing I grab my base and I tie the balloons to the pole just using its own um the own balloon neck so that's what I'm going to be doing on this next portion of the video which I fast forward so you can see me doing it in a couple little centerpieces these centerpieces are super easy to recreate I do recommend putting a water balloon on the bottom just so it keeps it a little more sturdy even though the vase is a little heavy on itself on itself put a water balloon just to make it a little heavier and then I go ahead and use my fish fish string uh, to tie the the teddy bear to the balloons so I just do that to secure it I tie it on the top and sometimes on the bottom if I want the teddy bear to stay in a very specific spot but that's kind of what you'll see me doing there and then I grab my flower bouquet which I made 
and I just put tape on the bottom and then a glue dot so it glues to the balloon and it doesn't go anywhere and then I grab my five inches balloon and make a little cluster of four and put that on the back so it just decorates the back a little better so that's what I'm doing there guys so I hope you enjoy this portion of the video where you're gonna jump next to the other party and see how I set up for that
guys so that's it for today's video i hope you liked it and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you on our next video thank you for your support bye